Hi, I'm Mike Ono, the Ingroup in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for December 15, 2023. Uh, pretty solid new arrival week. Uh, also a ton of killer restocks from the Blue Note Tone Poet series. I think at this point almost every Tone Poet is in print uh, and available now. So there was, you know, about 15 to 20 that were awaiting repress and they were going for 60 to 100 bucks on the secondary market. But I think that's pretty much been remedied now and almost everything is in stock. But I'll get to that in a minute. I want to start off with the two new pre-orders for the week. The Rolling Stones, 1966 to 1971. This is a 1845 seven inch single box set. They did volume one a while back. Uh, this is the second box, essentially 1966 to 1971. Pretty reasonable price wise. I mean, it's a nice box set, 18 discs, under 200 bucks. Uh, also, Paul McCartney is doing a 50th anniversary half-speed remaster of Band on the Run. That comes out February 2nd, 2024. So about a year ago, I introduced YouTube channel memberships. I didn't really tell anybody about it, but essentially there's a button towards, you know, you can subscribe to the channel, but there's also a join page and very few people do it. But one of the things that it is, it's like two bucks a month if you select the top, it's like 99 cents or two bucks, but if you select a $2, it's like $1.99 a month, uh, you essentially get access to all the videos early. I don't really ever promote it because I've always thought YouTube's implementation of it is a little on the wonky side because the way it would work is you got access to this particular video early, but what ended up happening was I go home, I process the video, so from about 11 to midnight Arizona time is the only time you could see it. And then before I go to bed, I have to manually schedule the video so it drops in the morning time. So very few people were ever able to take, you know, you were make use of the feature because it was such an allotted time. And then you could be like watching the video halfway through it. I change it and it takes it down and you got to wait till the morning to finish it. So really wonky. I never felt good about talking about it. But now they've actually changed it in their system to where... I can make it available the minute I process the video and at you know, six o'clock in the morning, Thursday morning, every week, the video goes live. So theoretically the channel members now can get up at any time, at any place, you know, around the world, whatever your time zone is, and you're going to have access to the video starting from when I upload it, which is typically the Wednesday, you know, the night before. Uh, around 9 o'clock Arizona time, 10 o'clock Arizona time. So it's kind of cool. The channel members, now it's two bucks a month, but you're going to get early access to all my videos. And there's some other stuff I do. There's videos on there that I've never published. There's about 10 videos. I did a review of this, some Eagles One Steps a while back. Uh, stuff that I've recorded, didn't really like the way it turned out. So I've never made them available. So there's about 10 videos I've never done. You get access again to all the big thing is you get access to all the videos early like when I do a new shootout video those I typically upload them and I don't make them live until like a week so you get like an early access to that which is kind of cool because sometimes I'll do those videos and the prices get a little weird depending on what ends up where but yeah now it's kind of cool I don't mind telling you guys about it so channel memberships it's different from subscribing you got to click join okay let me show you guys this week's new arrivals. I will start with the non-LPs, which is the Run DMC SACD of King of Rock. This is limited to 2,000 copies. It's a dual layer. You can play it on CD or SACD player. I don't do a lot with 7 inches, but I brought this one in. This is U2's Atomic City. Uh, let's see. It's Photoluminescent, transparent, 7-inch vinyl disc includes a bespoke etching on side B. So there it is, you know. Uh, what's in the background there? Is it kind of like the Sphere? I don't know if they... I'm not a U2 fan, but I'm kind of getting Sphere vibes, you know, from their U2 Vegas residency. Uh, which I would like to see that venue. I just don't want to see U2 at that venue. Okay. On Super Vinyl, they did Run DMC's King. Actually, I listened to this and it was quite good. King of Rock. I had a brain fart there, man, even though I just said it. Uh, it is on Translucent Super Vinyl. You know, this was not an album I was very familiar with. Uh, 
but I enjoyed it. Like I've listened to it about three times. Musically, I mean, I've enjoyed it. Sonically, I can't really comment on it. Uh, I've never really, don't think I've ever listened to any other version of this album or even listened to this album very much in any format. But I had a, uh, I had a good time listening to this. It's kind of catchy. You listen to this and like some of these tunes kind of get stuck in your head like you talk too much. But uh, yeah, the latest from Mobile Fidelity. Okay, from the Verve by request series, we've got, uh, where am I putting that? Melvin Jackson's Funky Skull. Let me get these box sets out of the way. I've got a Mata Hoople, All the Young Dudes. Let's see, this is a five disc deluxe box set featuring two LP gay fold album, two CDs, a custom 12 inch single, 72 page hardbound book, posters, prints, membership card, individually numbered certificate, all audio, newly remastered for this 50th anniversary release. You can kind of go online, check it out on the website, see everything that's included. This is just, a, I got a few Mobile Fidelity restocks. One of them is actually the Eagles Hotel California. So I threw that in there, but I'll show you the other Mobile Fidelity restocks. They're starting to get a lot of stuff back into print, which is kind of nice. New this week, this is the latest from OJC, all analog, cut by Kevin Gray from the original Analog Master Tapes. This is Tony Bennett and Bill Evans. Love the photo on the back. One of the tone poets, the hottest tone poet. Once upon a time, it was a $300 tone poet, but it is back again. That is Chet Baker Sings. All analog again, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. We've got the latest Blue Note Classic series. This is Grant Green's Green Street, 33 RPM. Killer record. Actually, both. This week is a really solid Blue Note Classic week. Uh, Sonny Rollins, Nukes Time. This is Yosef Latif, Detroit. Latitude 4230, longitude 83. Love the name of this album. It's a mouthful. Okay, so this is, I showed you guys a Max Roach from this label. I believe yeah, it was from the same label. What is this, Far Out Records Arc? Who did this? So check it out. It's all analog, cut from the original master tapes by Bernie Grunman. Pressed on 180 gram black vinyl. It comes in like this... Uh, generic type sleeve so I can show it to you, but it's a real thick, I mean, this is substantial. This is really nice. Real thick. God, this is like even thicker than a Stoughton cover. This is like an obnoxiously thick and luxurious cover, but yeah, very cool. Not the cheapest record, it's 50 bucks, but uh, really, really, really well done. Continuing with the UFO reissue campaign that's going out on where they're, I think, essentially, uh, I don't know what they're doing. Are they reissuing every single concert they've ever performed on vinyl? This is California at Edge, 1995. Double translucent red vinyl, limited to only 500 copies. Or maybe I'm just seeing the same records over and over again that are different color variations. I don't remember at this point. No, I don't think I've seen this one. Live in Vienna, 1998, double silver vinyl, only 750 copies of this one. We've got The Art is Murder. Decade of Hate, live in Melbourne, 2023. Limited to 1,000. Fear Factory. Limited crystal clear black and white splatter vinyl on a nuclear blast. We've got Dawkins Greatest Hits. On uh, splatter vinyl, looks like a pink and a purple splatter vinyl. The Eels, Essential Eels, Volume 2, 2007 to 2020. Translucent green vinyl, featuring five tracks, making their vinyl debut. Three of them previously unre unreleased. All right, so that's uh, two discs of L's. Get the comment section going. <laughs> Children of, the hell is this? Children of the Bottom, the final show in Helsinki, 2019, on red and black splatter vinyl. F 
Flatland Calvary. This is a wandering star. This is a Peavine reissue, uh, part of their Gravedigger series. Cliff Jordan, In the World. This is a 2LP, Peavine Japanese uh, label. A couple of Peavine titles here. We've got, I think this is a Peavine. This is Otis Rush, Groaning the Blues. I think there's a few more in here as well. Switchfoot, The Beautiful Lit Down, Press on Ocean Swirl Vinyl. Hate Breed, The Concrete Confessional on Clear and Red Splatter Vinyl. We've got The Might Be Giants, Flood, 180 gram audiophile pressing on black vinyl. Soundtrack to Killers of the Flower Moon. Original music composed by Robbie Robertson. It's a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. But, I mean, Scorsese really didn't make a lot of bad movies, does he? My two favorite movies of all time are both, both Scorsese films. So this came out last week, but for some reason they only sent me the indie vinyl variant. So this is the standard black album, you know, black vinyl of Before and After, Neil Young. Ooh, Kevin Gray, Neil Young. I don't think there's any Wizard Lizard this week, though. So, okay, we've got Bill Evans with the Symphony Orchestra on Verve. This is part of the Elemental Music Labels reissue series. Man, Elemental Music is putting out a ton of stuff. Camel. The Snow Goose remastered from the original tapes on Decca. We've got Ghost, Meloria, and Popster. Also from Elemental, we got Graham Parsons, the Flying Bur Burrito Brothers, Sleepless Nights. A bow wow wow, I want candy. Let's see. Looks like this is uh this looks like a compilation really on black and pink vinyl. The long story short, Willie Nelson, live at the Hollywood Bowl, volume one of highlights from the legendary shows. Willie celebrates his 90th birthday. Bam, is he that old? Hmm. Marissa Mar Mar Miranda Lambert, Chris Stapleton, Nathaniel Radcliffe, Lucas Nelson, Dave Matthews, Beck, Lyle Lovett, Margot Price, Billy Zenz. Kind of a who's who on that album. Rosanna Cash, 30th anniversary of The Wheel. Let's see, new liner notes from Rosanne Cash. Two LP set. We've got Chunk, No Captain Chunk. Pardon my French. So that's the name of the band, Chunk, No Captain Chunk. Alrighty. This is just a restock. I've got a bunch of Taylor Swift restock. This is Folklore. Been out for a while, actually. Ooh, another P Vine title. This is a comp, I believe, right? This is kind of like the best of Tribe, right? What is this? Digging? Who took his best? Uh, I think this is the best of Tribe. Tribe is a absolutely fantastic kind of quasi avant garde label, but I think they kind of. Tribe was a little more on the funky side, so kind of like a little bit of a funky avant-garde label. Baby Gravy, number three. Young Gravy and BB Nose. That's a weird cover. I wouldn't imagine somebody named Baby Gravy. I don't know what this is. Like there's a bunch of puppies on the front cover. House in a gayful jacket, printed. Oh, what kind of music is this? Includes a 12 by 24 poster. Maybe I'll get around to sampling 20 seconds of that. Ooh, Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday 2. 
on electric blue vinyl. Medusa, self-titled, the debut EP. It's an EP with 12 tracks. This is kind of cool. The Rolling Stones, through the, de through the past, darkly. Big Hits, volume two, but made in the original jacket. Well, kind of like the original jacket, the original US jacket. The UK jacket had the uh, punch out in the back so you could see if it was a stereo or mono. It is on black vinyl. Popa Chubby. It's Popa Chubby, yeah, not Papa. Popa Chubby and the Beast Band. Live at G Bluesy's Juke Joint, New York City. All right. Popa Chubb. Let's see. Look at the. <laughs> it's got the website. <laughs> This is wrong for me to make fun of, but I'm going to do it anyway. What the hell is this? Gulfcoastrecords.net. Their email is gulfcoastrecordings at gmail.com. What the hell, man? You guys are a record label. You can't get yourself a proper email address. I got a proper email address. Come on. A Gmail. All right. Ray Barreto, Indestructible. This is actually a really good album. I listened to this... God, I think I got this real. I got this at the tail end of last week. So I gave it a spin. It's all analog, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. They've done a fantastic job reissuing the Fania and like uh, the Fania and a lot of the salsa theme music. It's typically all analog. It's cut by Kevin Gray. And these records, I mean, in Arizona anyways, I mean, you probably only are going to find this kind of stuff in bulk in probably the New York area. But in Arizona, like, I've never had, I've never had this record come in ever in eight years. Uh, it's not like these are the most expensive records ever, but this type of music is non-existent in Arizona, so it's super cool to be able to, you know, they keep they keep making it, and it's cool to be able to have it in the bin. Filter the algorithm. This is a limited edition clear vinyl. We've got the Ozzy Osbourne Bark at the Moon Record Store Day Essential Variation. Record Store Day Essentials are special color variants only available at independent record stores. This is on translucent cobalt blue vinyl with a bonus poster. Also from Elemental Music, we've got the debut of The Soft Machine. This is Explosions in the Sky. The Earth is not a cold, dead place. Some more camel. We've got nude. We've got the self-titled camel. These are all imports, by the way. Continuing the Kate Bush reissue campaign, which has kind of come in over the course of the last three weeks, although I think they were all supposed to... They're imports, though, but they were all supposed to come out... Uh, in one week, I think three weeks ago, but this is Dreaming on, let's see, crystal clear and black vinyl. Camel Moon Madness. Mogwai, Mr. Beast. We've got, oh, Hum, Electra 2000. Fiona Apple, title, remastered from the original analog tapes, by who? Doesn't say. 180 gram, 45 RPM audio file pressing with a 12 LP, with a 12 LP, or excuse me, with a 12 page lyric book. I got a little distracted here because it actually says manufactured for vinyl me please by Sony Music. So my guessing is whatever mastering vinyl me please was using is what they're using here. They're probably just using the Vinyl Me Please parts. But they gave them a credit for it on the back. We've got Celebrating 100 Years of San Phillips. This is also a uh, Record Store Day indie exclusive. Where Rock and Roll was born. So let's see. It's essentially just a Sun Records comp, which is going to be killer. Everything from 
Elvis, Warren Smith, Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee Lewis, Roy Orbison, Ubi Doobie. It's just an absolute killer track. Johnny Cash, I Walked the Line. Ike Turner, Charlie Rich. This is really good. Okay, let me show you guys. I think the rest of this is... I think most of this is restocks. I'll start with the Mobile Fidelity restocks. It's been a while since I've had making movies. New cover with the new sparse code. Oh, check it out. There's actually two separate sparse codes, LP and LP1 and 2. LP1 is a... Uh, LP, see, this is how crazy... Most people don't realize, but I talked to them about this. You know, when I was at Mobile Fidelity, I talked to them pretty extensively on what they go through just getting master tapes and finding master tapes and how labels have an issue finding master tapes. But LP1 was made from a 30 IPS analog copy, so a safety. So that would be side one, which originally would have been on one reel. LP2, which is essentially would have been side two, is actually made from the analog master. They're both DSD-256, but yeah. We've got a restock of Miles Davis around about midnight. Fantastic sounding copy of Bob Dylan's Blood on the Tracks. Also back in print is Bob Dylan and the band. With the upgrade, updated sparse code. It looks like there's some of these, like the Miles Davis had the old jacket, but some of them they're starting to re remanufacture the jacket. So, another side of Bob Dylan, 45 RPM. This is the stereo. Okay, let me show you guys the Blue Note Tone Poet, and then I got some Blue Note Classic restocks. Starting with Jimmy Smith, Prayer Meeting with Stanley Tarantine. All these, actually everything I'm about to show you is all analog, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. And I can't recommend the Tone Poets any more than I already do, which is a lot. Tina Brooks, The Waiting Game. Hank Mobley's Poppin'. We've got Donald Byrd's Chant. So cool to finally have these all back in and on the shelves. Maybe Face a Wilette, Face to Face. Oh, what an amazing record. Grant Green, Born to be Blue. All the Grant Green stuff is a must have. This Kenny Burrell I enjoy too. This is one of the most recent Tom Poets, KB, KB Blues. Stanley Turrentine, that's where it's at. And one of my favorite covers from Blue Note. One of the absolute coolest covers. It is Jackie McLean's It's Time! Exclamation point a bunch of times. Such, I, I mean, these records are not only musical, Everything about this, I, I just, you look at these blue notes and it was everything about these was perfect. I, you know, I don't know if they ever knew it at the time, but the photography was perfect. The, you know, the jacket design was perfect. The recordings were perfect. The music was just, that's why it is the most iconic jazz label, hands down, of all time. These are not all analog cut by the original master tape, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. But we got a couple of the Taylor version 1989 restocks in here. This is the Sky Blue. We've got the Sunrise Yellow. We've got Taylor Swift's Fearless, the Taylor version, her re-recordings. All right, and the rest are Blue Note Classics, starting with one of my favorite jazz albums of all time, Kenny Burrell's Midnight Blue. Top 10 jazz album for sure. Highly recommend it. Restock of Hank Mobley's No Room for Squares. Larry Young's Unity. This is a recent restock that I, or a restock of a recent release. That is Tina Brooks' True Blue. Now the most expensive, I believe, Blue Note record you are going to find. I mean, I'm seeing clean copies of this between six and $10,000 now. So, you know, if you got an original of this, this is the Holy Grail Blue Note record. Lonnie Smith's Turning Point. Thelonious Monk. 
Genius of Modern Music. And one of my favorite jazz artists of all time, that is Art Blakey. This is a Mosaic. That is it for this week's New Arrivals, guys. You can check us out online at the website at theingroove.com. Until next time.